you see new products here, which are on the market in September. And it could be possible that there is a copy in China in August. This is how uh, today the market goes. Milan's also become a serious breeding ground for people that, that copy our products from all over the world. And it's become a, a really increasingly big problem for us um, because they can steal ideas and produce them almost faster than we can now. It's so clear that all the non-tangible rights are more and more difficult to protect. It's becoming a landscape where people feel very confident in copying, copying things. So people come around, even seriously, with spy glasses photographing things, but other people are just completely more overt and come in with iPads or a, a film crew. In today's marketplace, people are looking for more economical things. And I understand that, and, and there's, there's a market for that. It, it's, it's a very difficult, challenging thing for us because people will make a chair look like an Emico Navy chair, but it's not. They skip a lot of steps in the process. It ends up going to installation. And then we have chairs that fall apart that aren't our chairs. An original design product will have you know, a cost higher than its copy. It's very simple. Stealing, most of the time, is more cheap than buying, right? But it's very sour if you have presented a product in April and it's in the shops in September that uh, a bloody copier has it already in August. You know? And this is what happens at the moment. It tends to be um, mainly mainland China, um, uh, where they've got actually the industrial infrastructure to copy things um, really properly. But they will pull um, our press photographs off our internet sites and use them in their catalogues. Um, they will approach our dealers directly and they'll download our dimensions from our website to actually copy the things relatively effectively. And then they'll approach our dealership and offer the, the products for a third, a third cheaper. We had a call one time from the, uh, the general manager of the Peninsula Hotel in Hong Kong who was complaining that our new chairs were falling apart where our old ones that had been there for 15 years in the, in the, in the Felix Bar were perfect. Well, it turned out he had bought knockoff chairs but thought they were Emico. Everywhere we go in, um, you know, in Australia or, or in Singapore or, 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 or India, we'll see many, many copies. And that's also hitting more and more um, the UK as well. It's something that, as a manufacturer, that puts a lot of time and effort into the development and research and, and everything else. It's a very hard thing to, to swallow. Starting a law case in Asia, in the Far East, First of all, you need uh, huge amounts of uh, money to, uh, to do a procedure over there. And if you did win the procedure, if it did cost you $200,000, and uh, a new limited company in China will start the production. Like for instance, in Australia, um, you can put Tom Dixon, put my picture against it, and as long as you stick replica next to it, so Tom Dixon replica, you can sell legally these objects into the market. What I truly believe in when we tackle a project, it doesn't matter who we're working with, and this last project with, with Constantine, it was a very difficult project to do. Although the chair looks simple, there's nothing skipped. And the more difficult it is, the more difficult it is for other people to knock it off. I think you know what you'll see around here is, is a few coping strategies where we've, we've been trying as much as possible to invest in, in tooling and, and slightly more advanced technology, um, work on adaptive models of manufacturing where we can make specific things for clients, a, a new bespoke division where we make things for people, so we adapt our products to suit a, a, a client's needs. Kind of thing. So there's ways of dealing with it and we've just got to be faster and smarter. One of the things a designer can do is push manufacturers to do things that are more challenging because that in itself will keep other people from being able to or wanting to spend the money to do that. You've only got to look at the music industry to see that really it's very, very difficult to protect yourself legally.